So what's up guys, uh, welcome back to some boy Gary Adam Slink, how you not doing now, good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are very much doing okay, in few hours from now, or maybe before you see this video, we may have possibly be done with the giveaway, and for those of you who saw the giveaway, congratulations, and uh, for those of you who didn't see, don't worry, you will get it, and meanwhile, we have some sport entertainment news here today, yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, let's start. Let's start with our superstar Victor Osime. Well, quite surprising, guys. During the Afcon uh, competition, Victor Osime wasn't able to score more than one more than one goals in several games. More than one goal in several games, Victor Osime wasn't able to score. He scored one goal in several games. And guess what? As soon as he went back to his club, Napoli, he has scored five goals in three games. And yesterday night, he scored a trick. Can you imagine? Ah, Super Ego almost turned as to Vito Simen to a bed. Well, big congrats to Victor Simen. And uh, again, he's showing the world that is world-class superstars to you know, shake hands with that of uh, Messi and Ronaldo. You know, Victor Simen is our very own Victor Simen. Even way more than Messi and Ronaldo. We respect him way more than Messi and Ronaldo and uh, we are going to uplift him. And not just only that, Victor Simen recently decided to bless this young boy. <laughs> so this young boy dressed like Vito Sime and uh, of course with the jersey and with his face with his face marks and everything and someone posted a video online surprisingly for that young boy and his far parents guess what Vito Sime saw the video online and quickly reached out to the guy's parents to the little boy's parents and they told him that this boy is one of your greatest fans. He loves you. He appreciates you. In fact, he always wants to watch your games. If he doesn't see you a day, he will cry. So you know what Vito Sime did? Vito Sime decided to bless the young boy. He sent the sum of 2.5 million naira to the boy's parents. That is about, according to the Nigeria currency now, that is slightly more than $2,000. He sent slightly more than $2,000 to the uh, boy's parent. And $2,000 over here in Nigeria is a huge money. It's a really, really huge money, not just child's play. Now, big money be that. $2,000, like I've said, 2.5 million naira. 2.5 million naira will open a very substantial business for a Nigeria lower class. Yeah. So, thank you, Vito Sime, for remembering that boy. Not all entertainers, not all sportsmen will remember their fans like the way Vito Sime did to that boy. We have a lot of die-hard fans out there who glorify their, their celebrity, the people they are idolizing and everything, and yet they, they don't get noticed. For this young boy to get noticed, thank you, Vito Sime, for that. And uh, the 2.5 million naira we definitely go a long way. Definitely going a long way. And uh, God will continue to uplift Victor Simon. You know, there's a rumor that is he has signed a deal, uh, signed a new deal, but not in Napoli. He's going to leave Napoli really, really soon. I don't know about that. Well, Victor Simon, I, I just hope he keeps getting better and better and better and better you know sometimes with our africa footballers you know they don't really shine that far but i'm hoping vito Simeon will become the first africa footballer that will shine even way more than ronaldo and messi is that possible guys way more than Ro ronaldo and messi if there should be any footballer again that will shine as much as Ronaldo and Messi, ha, that would be so fantastic, guys. I mean, while speaking of Ronaldo, Ronaldo was recently sanctioned by the Saudi Arabia. 
Can you imagine, guys? Ronaldo, the untouchable player. The Saudi football body suspend and find Ronaldo. Why? Why will you suspend and find what class? And you know, Ronaldo do not take suspension and fine, likely. He will start fighting the Saudis now. According to the news, they say Saudi football governing body on Thursday suspended Cristiano Ronaldo for one game over a gesture he made on the pitch last weekend that was judged a provocation. The Saudi Arabia Football Federation said the held Nasser captain and former sporting Lisbon star was also fined a total of 30,000 riyad, that is about 8,000 US dollars, for the moves which broke rules against provoking the public during a match. The decision cannot be appealed. Video emerged after a side 2 3 2 win against Al Shabazz, showing Ronaldo making a, a, a repeated trusting gesture towards his growing, his growing in response to crowd talking in by chanting the name of his longtime rival, Leonardo Messi. <laughs> so, basically what Ronaldo did was that the crowd were just chanting Leonardo Messi's name while Ronaldo was playing. And Ronaldo did this, uh, this middle finger word, you know, using his uh, groins. Well, they said, we are not having that. We are going to suspend you for one game. And of course, we are, we are going to pay the sum of 8,000 US dollars for what you did. Well, that is a little bit of small find. And uh, Ronaldo is not above the football body of Saudi Arabia. So I think he's kind of like favorable. That judgment is really, really favorable. Because I guess if it was another player, that person would have gotten way more uh, uh, punishment than what Ronaldo got. So, 8,000 US dollar and suspension for one game, I think that is very, very, very okay. I was thinking they should have increased it a little bit. You know, fans are the main people, are the main reason why you get so rich. Yeah, without fans and without people that watch the sport, Nobody will care about you, and nobody will even patronize you. Nobody will know if you exist. So let's get that straight. I know some fans can be really, really annoying. How can you guys be calling Leonardo Messi's name while Ronaldo is playing? That is disrespectful. If I'm the person, I will go bizarre. Let me be uh, absolutely honest. I will be so mad. But yet again, guys, hmm? yet again, it should have. Uh, you know, calm down a little bit. And sorry to Proba, he has been suspended, banned from football activities for four years. Okay. Proba has been banned from football activities for four years due to doping. You know, Proba has been facing a lot of spiritual things for the past few years now. With his family, with his brothers, with so much things he said about how they are using some spiritual buju magic on him and everything. And now maybe he kind of like missed some kind of concussion given to him by a native doctor and he drank it. And you know, those native doctor concussion also comes with alcohol as well. Maybe he never knew and he drank it. And uh, oh, oh, unfortunately, they tested him for drugs, and uh, I don't know, and he was uh, found guilty. Again, some of his fans, we say he was kind of like targeted. Some of his fans, we, said, we say he was targeted for, for that. He was targeted and everything, you know, keep making all sorts of claims that the football... Uh, Organizers that do not really appreciate him, do not like him, and what happened to him in Manchester United and uh, the disrespect and everything, you know, how he left and everything, you know, four years, not playing, not able to play, no salary, nothing, nothing. Come on, man. The guy career is over from there now. Four years, not able to, not able to play. Nothing like football activities for four good years. For four good years 
nothing like football at activities. Bob Boba is. Let me check the age currently. Let me check the age. Currently. The guy is the okay, Pop Papa is 30 years old. 30 years old. By the time he comes back from this uh from this uh session, it, it will it will be 34. Come on, man. I think that's a little bit too much. I think you should appeal, you know, appeal it and uh, so that they can have it reduced a little bit. So two years, two years is okay. But four years, what people will play, not any any salary. My papa, I hope you have saved. Yeah, that is so well. They have uh, rules and regulations governing their body, and uh, they know exactly how to punish their players. Ah, well, four years. Who did papa offend? Who did he offend? Who did he offend? Who did he offend? Well. I wish you all the best, guys, and uh, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Gadam Slink. Catch you next time. Peace.